Hey G fans, GojiFan93 here, and welcome to the final part in my October Kaiju Thon. In this last review, we are going to look at Cloverfield. All right, yes, guys, it is finally time that I review this film. I have talked about wanting to review this film and give my thoughts on it for. Well, pretty much ever since I began this channel, and a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. So now it is finally here. Um, let's talk about Cloverfield. Now, this movie is awesome. It's one of the best kaiju films I've ever seen, and a lot of people might disagree with me saying that it's a kaiju film, but it deals with a giant monster attacking a city, so I kind of count that as a kaiju film. And it is probably one of the only kaiju films that has this found footage style that is also like with Paranormal Activity or uh, The Blair Witch. So this movie is just chock full of awesome tense scenes. Uh, it's more along the lines of a horror film so it's perfect to watch on Halloween which you guys are watching today so happy Halloween to all of you guys. Uh, yeah. This movie's great. I, the characters are really likable. I do like all the characters. There's not really any characters I don't like. Uh, every time I watch the film, even though I know what's going to happen towards the end, I won't spoil it for anybody who has not seen it, uh, but I always wish that that you know it'll be a happy ending but it's you know unfortunately that's not really what happens but you know I won't go into too much detail usually with these found food uh, found footage movies a lot of the times uh, the endings aren't really happy so uh, but yeah what well, I mean I love this movie there, there's really not any bad things I can say about it. Uh, the acting is superb. Uh, it has that found footage style acting, which is kind of like, it, it, it's a weird style of acting because I feel like it's a lot of just interpretation of like how the, like how the actors are doing. Like a lot of it's scripted, yes, but I think a lot of it is also just improv um, while they're recording. It's just kind of, they work, the actors work off, each, off of each other. And that's, that takes a lot of skill better than what I could do. So um, yeah, the acting is great. The characters are awesome. The main character, you, he's really likable. He's kind of relatable. You really root for him throughout the whole movie. Um, I love the characters in it. The music is, uh, well, there really isn't a lot of music actually in it. Um, really, the whole movie is kind of just ambience. That's really what the whole movie works off of is just a lot of ambient sounds going around it, which is great. Uh, and it gets you really psyched into it because it's that found footage style, so you feel like you're actually there watching all of this stuff happen. Um, and the CGI, the special effects on it are, it's so good. It's a little, I mean, today's standards, I guess it's a little bit outdated, but when this first came out, I remember seeing this in theaters, uh, and this was 2008, and I remember seeing this in theaters, and uh, I was blown away with the special effects. There's a scene where the Statue of Liberty's head gets blown off and flies down the streets of New York, and it's just, the... It's so cool looking, and it, it's really convincing looking. The, the effects on it were so good, and uh, just all of it being done with the found footage style and the way, like, if you watch the behind the scenes of this film, it's really interesting how they filmed it and how they just made everything work together. So the special effects are fantastic, especially when the Cloverfield monster uh, comes on screen. Now, a lot of the film, they kind of, they hide him, they kind of uh, tease him a little bit, which is great. That's how a lot of monster movies do it. You, know, you hide the monster until pretty much like the end of the movie um, and it, there's a lot of buildup and it's a good payoff when you actually do get to see the monster itself uh, at the end of the movie there's this awesome scene where the guy's looking up and you just you get to see the monster but it's only for a few seconds it's not really that long but the rest of the movie is just kind of like you see him go, go high, behind buildings it's kind of like Godzilla 2014 but it's just it's it's done better in a way because this monster movie we, we don't know anything about it so it, it's it's better that way uh, and yeah, so the monster's really great. I love Cloverfield, super great. I would love to see Cloverfield fight Muto because the Muto creature is like a re high resemblance of this creature. So I would love to see those two fight. Um, and it, what it also does is uh, like halfway through the movie, it all it starts like like giving birth or whatever to like little little creatures that are like that have like big beak mouths or whatever and they go underground and start infecting. Well, it's not really they infect people. It's like they bite you and then they just you just explode or something. It's really gruesome. And I don't want to go into detail because once again, I don't want to spoil it too much, but there's just a scene where one of the characters, man, ugh. <laughs> and it's really sad too when, when you see it, but yeah, uh, 
that that's really great and basically the story i mean it's just like the the movie starts out in this party scene where the main character is going to japan because he's a at, oh and, and that's one of the things is that's a really cool nod to kaiju movies is that he's going to japan of course right um and it's in new york so it's like you know new york and tokyo the best places for monsters to fight right so he goes off to he's going to go to tokyo or to japan because he's like the ceo or like vice president of some corporation or something like that um and he's having some girlfriend issues uh, or his ex-girlfriend his ex-girlfriend comes over and brings over a new guy and it kind of makes some dr drama but it's like it's like you know little drama uh, but then all you know then shit starts to happen like this the first part where you where there's like an explosion on top like out in the distance everyone goes up to the balcony and they see this huge explosion in new york and they're like oh my god and they're like like flying debris just starts coming down and it's it's so awesome basically the whole movie is just him trying to get to his girlfriend and then trying Trying to survive that's really the gist of it uh and the ending just i mean man it did when it when it ends you're just like man is that really how it ah oh, that sucks you know it's not it's not a bad ending it's just you feel for the characters you're like oh man i wish it was better for them but once again not going too much into spoiler detail i know i'm spoiling it a little bit but i don't want to go into too much detail um but yeah overall guys Cloverfield is such a fantastic movie. I don't understand how some people don't like this. Oh, it's oh, it's the motion sickness. I don't like the the shaking cam and all that stuff. But like you know, this is like one of the first movies that actually shows you what it's like to be in around a a, a monster attack. I freaking love it. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen Cloverfield, I highly recommend you do it. It's one of my all-time favorite kaiju movies. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Two thumbs up. Awesome. Go see it. Go see it today. Go see it on Halloween. It's a perfect movie to see if you're having a Halloween party. So, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching my October kaiju -thon. I hope this was a very fun month for you guys. It was really fun for me. I got to see a lot of new movies that I haven't seen yet. So, it was a really fun experience for me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay big, G-Fans.